what's up guys welcome to real beast today i'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about branding and just some a little bit of graphic design stuff it's just going to be a new series where i just show a little bit of that stuff on that side all right if you guys haven't subbed already make sure you hit that sub button because it does help me out a lot so let's hop right into this so what i'm going to be showing you is how to make basically a social media handle uh overlay for your videos or whatever all right and it's gonna we're gonna start with something very simple so it's basically what that is just the thing that you see under my video where it just has like my app for my social medias and stuff all right so we're gonna be making that so first thing you want to do is you want a template of your video so i already have one here and i'll have a download for you in the description so you can just grab the template and kind of get creative and make your own stuff so what you want uh, your width 1920 and then your height 1080 all right and it should be in a landscape layout which means that it's kind of horizontal all right so 1920 by 1080 um i just go with 300 uh resolution um you can usually this is like at 144 but it doesn't really matter all right so you would just uh press create and then it will take you to something like this so I provided these files for you. You can, I think you could do most of this on your phone nowadays, um, but I'm just using Photoshop and I have like guidelines and stuff where you wanna put stuff. So we have our reference photo and this is just like FL and I just did some effects to it. It's just a picture of FL, all right? So first thing that you wanna do is create your overlay. Um, so you wanna create that shape. So first thing you wanna do is go up here to this rectangle and then here's a guide I made for you. Um, some people, you don't want it to be too like uh, large because it'll get in the way. All right, so you can do about that size, but I think somewhere around here is pretty good. All right, so once you do that, you go to your paint bucket tool. Okay, and then you can pick a color up around here. So we can do white and put that in there. Okay. And then you can add shapes as well. So if we want to add like a, a triangle. What we're going to do is hold shift, click and drag. All right. And then now we got like a little triangle or uh, a square. Now, how we make it a triangle is we're going to right click like around here and go to transform selection. Okay. And here you can change the shape and turn it so what we're going to do again is hold shift and right when it turns into this like turn icon just shift it so that it's a diamond and now you can drag it and kind of mess with it and i think that's a decent size right there okay so now same thing just highlight it in with the paint bucket tool click off and now you have a shape and you can do tons of things to this you can flip this up on top if you want you can do like little triangles on the side if you want to add little things there okay so um that is how you do your overlay okay so now we're going to start with the text and basically starting off with this video we're going to be doing simple things and then later in the video we're gonna be like adding effects and shading and stuff. So let's just start with the basic things and then add next. So um, we can just, to add text, you just click the T and you can just click somewhere right here. And I have the guidelines where you wanna like put the text. So we can click that there and you can just put anything. And I provided the font that I'm using for you as well in the, the little pack. So uh, we can type in like, let me see. I don't know, something random. It don't, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you prefer. Totem beats. Do something like that. Put it in the middle. And maybe just adjust it a bit. So now what we want to do is that again, but except except now we're just gonna copy this. So it's the same exact size. So that's you're gonna press control J. All right. And obviously on my Windows on Mac, I think it's like Command J or something. Um, I wouldn't really know because I don't have a Mac. So let's go over here, same thing. And then you can just put like, let me see. 
something like that all right you can get creative and do whatever you want to do with this okay so that should change and there's the text so you might have to move a little bit of this so what i like to do is keep things organized so what i'm gonna do is just highlight these and press this folder icon and it's gonna put it in the folder and we'll just name that text all right so now we're gonna move on to adding like the logos and the social media uh icons and everything all right so we've done the text now we're gonna drag in our logos and change the size so in the pack i've already put the pngs in there for you so you go to open and it should take you to just all of these like social media uh, platform logos so for example this would just be our logo for example so we drag that one in insta twitter and we just do facebook all right so it's going to look like this so now you just want to drag it over and i'm going to show you the process of how to do this so you just drag it in i usually just drag it in the middle so now it's going to look like this now two ways that you can change this you can press Control t to change it or you can go to edit and go to free transform all right and that's Control t is the shortcut for that so basically what we're going to do is hold this w and drag it down to it's like a decent size somewhere around there is good all right and if you want to change the size in place you hold alt and drag the corner and it'll change the size in place so i'm just going to go ahead and do these and rename everything real quick all right so the next thing that we're going to do is just put these in a folder so you're gonna click one hold shift and click the one that you want to the last one that you want to put in the folder so it highlights everything and click this folder icon and you should put it in the folder so now let's rename it to logos all right just reopen so now let's take our logo or whatever logo you want let's drag it in the middle and let's just adjust it and that should be, that should be good enough for now so now with our facebook instagram and twitter logos let's just drag those down over here and this should be a good placement and actually i can just make a new marker which if it'll let me somewhere in the middle so you can kind of see where to put it so now we're just going to drag everything so you click on the layer the instagram layer hold shift and press the right key and it should just drag it over and we can actually make just go to twitter real quick and just drag that one over too let's make the facebook icon a little bit bigger Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just move all this over a bit. And then we're gonna adjust our text. So let's close this, adjust our text, hold shift and press the right key. And you can kind of just center it how you want it. And I think that looks pretty good. All right, so that's it for the dragging in the logos. This is all the simple stuff that you need to know. Um, now we're gonna move on to like effects and just like shadows and stuff like that. Now we're gonna do something a little bit more advanced and that's just shading and highlights and dragging in textures. So first let's do that. Let's drag in a texture and we could choose like this, this one, this one should look nice. All right, and now if your layer is locked, just press this locked icon you should be able to drag it around. So just flip it in here. Control T and drag it out. And then from here, I'm going to hold shift and click the top of this picture and you can stretch it. And that should be good. So obviously now we have an issue. So basically what I did over here is I put the overlay in its own folder so it can be a little bit more organized. So let's name this layer let's actually put it in caps texture 
So what you wanna do is right click, create a clipping mask, and we're gonna do this a lot. So just remember to, uh, how to do that. So now let's just adjust it. I think that's a little too much. So we can just shrink it down just a little bit more. We can even bring it down. And I think that's pretty good. That's decent enough. All right, so from here, you can change the color. If you just double click on the texture and we go to color, all right? And you can just choose any color that you want. I kind of like that purple. All right, that's decent. And then you can change the amount. So I kind of like that. It's not too much. So let me actually show a little bit more of this. All right, so that part is done. So we can close that. So next we have to actually contrast our text so we can see it. So go to text, click on your text and it's just see like this color thing here. You can make it whatever color you want. Let's just do white. Again, this doesn't have to look super, super nice. Um, it's gonna take a while for you kind of like get something that you really, really like. So just experiment with things and colors and stuff like that. All right, and now let's go back to our overlay layer. What we're gonna do is create a new layer. This is gonna call be called shade. So now we're gonna make another clipping mask. All right. And then now let's grab our brush. And then these are the settings that you want. Something like this, 0% hardness, and then a larger brush. So now we should go to black. And from here, you, sh you, should, you should be able to shade it. So I'll take this off and show you what it does. And basically it's just shading it. So you kind of just shade the bottom just a little bit. All right, so now you see it's really dark. So now what we wanna do is add highlights. Again, let me move that up. So let's do another layer. All right, and this is a highlights, right click, create clipping mask. And then for this one, we can go to this normal and then go to linear dodge or color dodge, but I just like to do linear dodge. And then just go up, let's see. You can, let's just show you this. You can go up and you can choose whatever color. I like to choose the same color almost and just like a brighter version of it. And then from here, you can kind of brighten it up as you can see. And you can choose different colors, all right. Now you can do multiple colors in one. It doesn't have to just be one color. Let's see if we yellow. Kind of just like that same color there. All right, and then you add your text back. All right, and then you have a little bit more depth. You can kind of adjust it to your text. All right, so I think that's good enough. All right, so now we're gonna be starting with some effects. So basically what you wanna do is click inside of the layer that you have. Let's zoom in a bit. So click your overlay layer, you just click the layer right below that and click on this circle. And this will pull up some effects that you can use. So you have like gradient maps. All right, now you'll see that it just changes the whole thing. You can right click on it and go to create clipping mask and it'll just clip back to your overlay. So I'll just show you what this does. All right, it just basically turns into two colors. All right, and it just does a gradient. So your highlights will be one color and your shadows will be another. So if we do like something like this, and usually this color would be darker. And we just pick a, just pick the color we had before. And then change this one to a brighter color. 
you can see that the highlights are changing. You don't really need to do this. If you want to use something like this, all right, if you want to do something like that, it actually looks pretty nice. Now, if we want to change the amount that is changing, you can just drag this little uh, midpoint. You can get some really nice uh, stuff with this. That doesn't look too bad, actually. But let's drag it in a little bit more. All right, so now next we can do like the hue and saturation. Again, right click, create clipping mask. And now you can just drag this if you want to change the color. All right. So if you want a little bit more blue, you can do that. And the saturation will just turn the make the color a lot more vibrant. But I wouldn't do too much because then it'll start to distort. So if you want black and white, go all the way to zero. And then your lightness is how bright how dark how dark it is. So I usually just keep that at zero. And then try to get back to the color I was at. Okay. So now last one, click here, go to brightness and contrast, and this will just change the brightness. And again, create that clipping mask. This is the contrast. I usually just leave this where it's at. And this is the, the brightness. All right, so I'll just leave this at zero. And then you can also turn these off. All right. You can see the difference that that gradient map does. This is the original. And then this is our new one. So the very last thing that we'll need to do is double click on our overlay layer and we create a stroke. All right, what's it gonna do is pretty much just give an outline and this is just to kind of like separate this from our video or whatever you have in the background. So I tend to like to use the same color, right? But just a little bit brighter. And then I put the size to one and then you can kind of experiment and see like what makes it pop. And I kind of like that a little bit. Give it kind of like that, that highlight. All right, and all that's doing is just kind of separating it, making it look a little bit more clean. And then we could do that same thing with our text actually. So let's double click our text, go to stroke. And then what this is going to do is just make it a little bit more clear. So you can see like if we go really far, it's a lot easier to see those letters. So if we just do like two or one, it should be fine. And then same thing with our logos. You know, just a little bit, or you could do a drop shadow. That works as well. And I'll show you what that does. It's kind of just giving it that shadow, but this can make it look really like, it can make it look really bad if you do it wrong. So I tend to turn this opacity down just a little bit and boom there you have your overlay and that's pretty much it i mean no this doesn't look the best but it's just something to get you started with this um it's not meant to make you a god at graphic design uh, we'll get there but um this is just something to start with that you can practice with and change the text around you can um i'll show you some effects later in other videos that you can do to like make text look better and everything but this is a good starting point uh this should pretty much get you to the point where you don't really need help as much all right but that's pretty much for this video uh, make sure you guys download the pack uh, so you can get all the pngs and stuff so you can you know practice and make your own stuff all right that's gonna be it for this video make sure you guys like and subscribe if you are new and i'll see you in the next one peace